Hello and welcome back to Paul Quest 4. Episode, um, wait, 3? Is this 3? Or 2? Wait, no, or 4. Time travel is confusing. Anyway, welcome to this episode of Paul Quest 4. Where uh, I am an in Space Quest 1. Which is interesting. And but theoretically, I mean theoretically, I know how to know what to do because you know I've played Space Quest One. So this is the um, Space Quest One code I've got there. So I've already got that written down. Don't need that again. Keep your hands to yourself. So I guess. See what the heck is going on out here. Wow. This looks a lot worse than I remember it. I love that this, that the pod and me is still high resolution. That's so neat. I mean, it would be cooler if it was like, you know, higher resolution. But still. It's a Walmart force field generation unit. You can't do that. This closely resembles the left side of droids be us. I remember that place. Oh, it's closed now. The sign indicates that this establishment is not open for business. There was all sorts of jokes in there. Now, if I recall correctly, if I go too far out here, the force field will kill me. Like so. And I believe that will, like, kill me, kill me, uh, if I do that a couple times. Yeah, I remember all this, and then there was garbage that came through this hole, and there was a pile there. This must be the back of the bar. Some fading graffiti adorns the wall. You don't know what it says, but you're sure it's not flattering. I wonder if that's a... If that's like a code... I'm going to just take a quick screenshot of that, just in case that turns out to be uh, a time code. Hey, wait a minute. Those are advanced chips. As you check out the Sen bikes, you wonder what kind of cheese ball would own one. As you check, the sign suggests that this place might be a... Those bikes are far too high resolution for this place. Clearly there's something going on. Also, this long-legged beauty stands silently, waiting for its jet-faced owner to return. jet face. It looks like it came from the planet of the warts. This ship must be the Plantar's deluxe model, with authentic mosaic upholstery. Hey, I remember this place. At the bottom of this excavation is a small craft almost totally buried in dirt. You remember barely making it back out when the engine died. I remember not making it out when the engine died. This must be the Yugo of spaceships. You wonder why anyone would bother to lock it. Did they? The ship is not for sale. No. Okay. Into the bar. Seems to be the only place to go around here. Hey, it's the, the Blues Brothers. The bar is still here. The smell of Coronian ale stinks up the place. The aroma leads you to remember vividly your previous visit here. You break out in a cold sweat. This is where I messed with the machine. 
that made, uh, or was one of the things that made Arnold the Annihilator mad at me. Good times. You see two guys singing. Some rather drab looking individuals are hogging the bar. This guy is too ugly to describe. These guys are grayscale. Some rather drab looking individuals. Some rather drab looking individuals are hogging the bar. This guy's really ugly. There's some writing on the wall above the stairs. Perhaps it says, watch your step. Perhaps. Although perhaps I should put do another screenshot just in case that's more code stuff. You see a man behind the bar serving drinks. Uh, uh, well, looky here. If it ain't Mr. Look at me, I'm in VGA. <laughs> La di da. So fancy. Good enough for you? These guys are monochrome but high resolution. Six colors all for one little bitmap wimp. What a waste of VGA. <laughs> they should be like. Hey, fellas. Black I bet and I white. Awesome all the way out from the bottom of the stairs. Bitch and ale. Ah. Uh. Ah, the old Fresh Prince exit. As you check out this. Ooh, can I steal his hand bike? Oh, I can knock them over. Why? That's just causing trouble. Why did I do that? I mean, sure, they were black and white, but did they really deserve to get messed up for that? You know, what's great about these guys is they don't see color. Boy, that was close. Hey, how come their bikes can go through the force field? <clears throat> Narrative convenience. <clears throat> this building is quite small. Maybe this is why it's called Tiny's. All right. You hear a high-pitched whine from the east. Nice reflexes. <laughs> Life is pounded loose from your body by the impact of the sand bike. Ow. Now this is a pain that'll linger. All the Ben Gay in Florida won't relieve this stiffness. Is Florida known for its Ben Gay? All right. I don't know why I didn't put in a save there. Okay. I know where we're going. I know what we're doing. We're knocking over some bikes is what we're doing. Why would you want to wreck the nice bike? Oh, I can't wreck nice bikes until I get told off by the guys. That's good anyway. I'm not just indiscriminately hurting things. The old bar is still here. The smell of Coronian ale stinks up the place. The aroma leads you to remember vividly your previous- Oh, hey guys. Do you want to rock? Well, looky here. If it ain't Mr. Look at me, I'm in VGA. So fly. What's the matter? Monochrome not good enough for you? What's this? 256 colors all for one little bitmap wimp? What Those are what, 16 bays? <laughs> oh no, they're not 16 bays. Hey, fellas, I bet I can toss them all the way out from the bottom of the They're stairs. like four grays. Bitch and ale. They're like from a Game Boy or something. All right. Let's uh, not restore. Let's put in a save. SQ one bar. This is what you get. Yeah. Now your bikes are all knocked over. What do you think about that? You douche.
poo-poo heads. That's right, I said it. Your black and white poo-poo heads. Boy, that was close. Hey, how come their bikes can go through the force field? You guys are black and white, but I'm gonna hit you until you're black and blue. Ha! Wait, no. That was... That was an idle boast. Oops. No! That was restore. Damn it. Man, I'm bad at this. Well, let's watch that again. Yep, there they go. Just like they did before. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, don't come back till you get more of the same. By which I mean... Boy! Running away and then knocking over your bikes. Wow, I'm a silly person. Okay. Now we save. In the bar. Okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. You hear a high-pitched whine from the west. From the west? Oh. Didn't think I made that, but okay. That worked. Boy, that was close. Hey, dudes. You see a book of matches on the bar countertop. Yo. You pick up the book of matches. Good stuff is always in books and matches. A book of matches. You can't do that. You slide the conveniently pre-moistened stogie between your lips. Apply a lit match and proceed to nearly hack up a lung. Yay! Oh, doesn't do anything. A book of... You can't do... Can't open them. Can I look Don't at... Don't mess with it! Can't look at the back. Isn't there something written on it? Oh. Well, now I have matches and a stogie, but that doesn't really help anything. There's the bar. Hey, Barsman. Hey, aren't you the guy who broke my slot machine? You owe me some money. What? No. Uh, that was I like. Gotta run. My that was like three games park. ago. Hey, it's been swell talking to you. I can't be held responsible for that. You see two guys singing. They don't have time to talk right. This looks like the bar in Space Quest 1. How convenient. What can I do? So I have a book of matches. That doesn't tell me anything. Is there any place I could go? Needs a book of matches? Like, theoretically, I could go... I've got the things to go back to Space Quest 10, i.e. the um, the mall, and I have the stuff to get back to Space Quest 12. Is there anything that I need matches for at either of those places? Or any of these other things? I've got this along with the plug thing. This looks like the bar in... The band members have nothing... That's not a very clean habit. This looks like the bar. From your position in the bar, you can only see sky through the window. What if my position in the bar is different? From your position in the bar. Hmm. The cigar goes out. You don't need to look at that. So I had a lit cigar there. Why did I have a lit cigar? 
you hear a high-pitched whine from the east. Oh. Nice reflexes. Now this... Okay, let's try this again. So I got a book of you matches. A Is that all I need? Wine from the Is that all I need? Ha ha! Boy! Thou hast been deked! You dick. Can I get the matches? You pick up the book. So I now have a cigar that I can light and it like stays lit for a little bit. You hear a high-pitched whine from the east. What? I totally made that. Nice rip. Now this is a... You hear a hype. Boy. Maybe I'll kind of try going back to Space Quest 12. See what the deal is. There seems to be a lot I can do here. You pick up the book of. Maybe I can. Let's see if I can offer these guys a cigar. You can't use that here. You can't use that here. You slide the conveniently pre moist. Don't need to. It's very pleasant looking. You can't do that. Nothing happens. You can't use that. Hmm. What kind of money do I have right now? Nothing happens. You can't use. I have three dollars. Okay. Out of the here. cigar goes up. Can I? You slide the convenient. Okay, so it's just something I can do whenever I want. The cigar goes. And it leaves as soon as I. Okay. You hear a high pitched whine. Haha! Double deked. Boy, that. All right, well, let's see about going to Space Quest 12, which I wrote down the code for. Because I'm awesome. Although a lot of people did point out that I probably could have just um, taken a screenshot, which is a fair a fair point. I feel like writing it down longhand is a more kind of authentic experience. The powerful quad quark drives Rev to life. Time and space bend blah, blah, under the thin blah, blah. relations of the time rip transfluxers. Your blah, adrenaline blah, blah, blah. and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally, finally! Do, 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 do. I wonder if these are different colors, depending on which one I'm going through. I haven't really been paying attention. I wonder if that was a bad idea. Oop. Let's... Save SQ12. Okay, well the guys are gone outside, so at least I can actually like leave without killing or without dying immediately. That's something. <laughs> this see. is the sequel police dispatch monitor. At the moment, nothing is being displayed. You are unable to do anything with that now. 
It feels remarkably similar. <laughs> this is the seat. This isn't something I can attach this to, is it? It would serve no. no. I'm really worried about the <laughs> plug thing. I had to make a choice on that without knowing what I had to do. And that was like a ways back. I don't know if that was something I was supposed to know or whether it's just a thing to mess you mess with you. Now there's a guy over there. Four. Is there still a guy there? No! Ha ha! What's Your this? innate sense of curiosity makes you wish you knew the way to open this thing. Your innate None of the codes you punch in seem to have any effect on the door. It smells just as good as it looks. It tastes like nothing you'd ever want to put your tongue on. A nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Your innate sense. Your innate. There's a tunnel leading into the middle of the structure. Hmm. None of the codes. You slide the convenience. I don't know why I would want to use it. Nothing happened. Your pocket pal now has power. You liberate the battery from the pocket pal. Oops. You can't do that. You plug the mobile. The cigar goes. Am I still going to have to be dodging guys? You climb up. Same places before. The fact that I can go back this far is interesting. Well, they're actually leaving. Well, that's good, probably. Good old unstable ordinance in there. Don't think I have anything that, to make that more stable. Mm. Wait a minute. I think that was a mistake. I'm actually rather than I know I can like go all the way around and go through the other way, get in and come back, but instead I'm actually going to reload this. I wonder, I just had a thought about something to do in here. I don't want to have to go all the way around to try again. What about this stuff? You have a jar of green. What about acid? Don't mess with it. Yes. Well, there's not much left of the lock now. Ha ha. I'm awesome. You just walked out an airlock and are dead. Thanks for playing. Save that. Acid door.
What's this? Uh, Oh, that's a thing. You can't use that here. Uh, I want a hacksaw or something. The fudge. We're glad you could play Space Quest Four. Oh, is this? Wait. This long tunnel contains three circular steel portals, each containing nozzle-like projections. This long... So, this is like... Is this, this is a Metal Gear thing, eh? This is like the only thing you use cigars for. You slide the convenient... Yeah, you there cast we go. the old stogie to the ground. The only thing you use cigars for in games these days. It's finding... Uh, laser trip wires. Okay, so now that I can see them, what do I do? The laser beams glow. Now, can I see them? Am I smart enough to just walk through? That my experience would indicate no, but we'll see. Nope. Okay, so what do we do here? It would serve. Okay. You slide the. Okay. You cast the. Op So one 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 is good for that one. Is there a trick to this? Okay, it's not it's not just a number. It's like how many degrees to turn it? No, that just makes sense. Okay, so I can not, I can choose not to turn them. Damn it, I had that one. What's the trick here? doesn't do anything. Is it degrees? Well, maybe it is degrees. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so in that case, I want to turn this one like what? 15? No, I can't do it. Oh, it's probably 0, 15. Okay, so if I, so I want to turn this one, so if I said like 0, 90. Okay, that one is in the right spot. Let's go for this one. Let's say this has to go about 
100. those two and then this one say 045 Be more than that zero oops don't want to mess with that uh, we go enter, enter, and then we go say zero fifteen. Zero fifteen again. Ha! Done! Let's, uh. Lasers. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that puzzle. You can't read. This maze of cables, ducts, pipes, and glowing panels gives the super brain computer a sense of being alive. Hello, super brain computer. You hear an electronic hum approaching from ahead of you. Seems real bad. You can't do that. Don't mess with it. Slot A. Insert terminal plug here. Ah. You can't use that here. What's the shape of the thingy? Damn! Your pocket pal now has power! Now! You liberate the battery from... Really, it's not gonna show me what the... This is just a dumb... Keep your hands to yourself. You plug the mobile pop. It's not going to show me what the picture is of the thing that I shot that I used. Nothing happened. Well, I just have to try them all, I guess. I'm assuming that each one of these is a different kind of thing. Also, that's probably really bad. Oh crap. It would serve no. This is the same as the other one. So, is that the shape I need? Can I like. Maybe I can go back and like exchange it. You see a small keypad. You don't need to look at that. It's very pleasant looking. Yeah, but what is it? What am it's I looking very at? Pleasant looking. You don't need to. <laughs> oh, that ain't good. Oh, hey, um, funny story. I... No. All right, I'm going to do a quick check. See if I can, like, exchange my power cord for a different one. Because 
Like, is there any way... There's no way I could have come... I mean, I guess I could have not bought the power cord until I got here and knew what I needed. But how was I supposed to know that that was a thing? Keep your hands... Grr. If that's just, like, a thing that I'm supposed to not wait for, I'll be very annoyed. Uh, alright, so this is... Question mark. Thingy. The powerful quad quark drives Rev to life. Time and space bend under the thib and... Like, they wouldn't give you... Would they really give you... I wouldn't say... I never, I'm not going to say they wouldn't because I wouldn't put anything past these guys, but... Would make me very annoyed if you can't do that. The large compartment. Do it would make me very annoyed if I can't actually do anything. And then I have to like go all the way back to this part. I think that would be super dumb. Hey. The hell? Ooh, very crackly audio. I hope that's not. Okay, buddy, seriously. <sighs> guy's the worst. Apparently the arcade audio really sucks. Go figure. Good old Entol. What Entol? Mm, it's never come up. Alright, here we go. Hurts so good. Shrink wrap two thousand. Faux component. Do decaphonic around. Keep going, keep going. Pocket. Pocket pal connector. If you're a proud owner of our ever popular Pocket Pal portable terminal. Ah, exchange. There we go. Good. All right. They aren't completely heartless, just mostly heartless. And I believe it is this one. Okay. We are in, as they say, the business. It's probably says something about the game that I uh, wouldn't put it past them to have not allowed me to do that. But it's actually because of like the time travel thing. This game does have more backtracking than previous ones. 
which is weird in that the sense that that's actually a, quite a positive thing in this you know that you could actually like go like I could have gone back and got that slime if I had missed it and stuff like that whereas in previous space quests that isn't a thing however if I hadn't gotten this code from the um, from the ship I don't know what I would have done probably died or just never been able to go anywhere the powerful and pew, 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 pew. no this is different colors than it was before I think I don't think the colors matter Hmm. Wait till the sound to the music is finished there. Okay. Now I have the right plug. Do this. Stupid European power adapters. It's always the worst. Let me uh, definitely put in a save here. Plugged! Better be the right plug. Probably should have saved while I was... That would have been smart. To save while I was over there looking at the plugs. So that I would get the right one. Or I could have gone back and gotten the right one easily. Alright. Memo to self. Do that. Um, right now... Go back in time. Well, with any luck, I won't have to. You have to use that memo. You hear an electronic hum approaching from ahead of you. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. What? Oh crap. You hear an elect- Yeah, I saw it. Okay, I'm definitely- uh... Now you- I definitely have the right one. Your pocket pal now has- Let's do a little more exploring around here, I guess. Maybe I'll see something that... The lack of um, feedback on some of these things is quite annoying. Like, there's that, and I know I've got it, but I don't see the thing on it. Your pocket pal now ha And like, it doesn't tell me anything. You hear an elect- You hear an electron- This maze of cables, ducts, Slightly different than the other ones.
You can't use that. Slot A. Insert terminal plug here. Like I had the terminal plug and then I like combined it with the laptop. Nothing happened. You can't use that. You hear an elect. Like, is somehow combining it with the laptop make it now not work? Keep your hand. You liberate the battle. This is just a dumb. T this is just a. You hear an electric. I see an electric thing coming from my left. Run! Run, Roger! This maze of. Keep your hands. You can't do. You hear an electron. What? Now you. I'm very confused. I don't really understand what's going on here. Like, I definitely have the right plug. Well, let's see if there's anything else that I can counter. Anything in, anything in the hint book, is it? An SQ. Uh, read my larynx, rip my larynx out. Can't find the one armed man. Two guys in the bar saying. Strawberry fire engine, good dental hygiene, stupid time pod. Okay, I got that part. Sp Splice the cable. Large slimy creature. Ooh. Is that a super computer? You can't use that here. Use the oval team. Jaws of life. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Were there scary eyeball things staring at me? I wasn't, I'm not quite sure. Because when I tried to look at it, it was like, nope, nothing interesting. It's weird. It's like they ran out of descriptions or something. It's like, really, there's nothing in this room that's interesting? Nothing in this room that I can look You're at? You're here and... Oh, crap. You hear an You hear an electronic you hear You still haven't really figured out stereo sound yet. This maze of cables Did you hear this is kinda of tell you where it is.
crap. Run, Roger! Continue the previous running plan. It's you! This maze of cable. You hear an. It would serve no purpose. I think it would. Gotta go, gotta go, go. You hear an alert. Run, Roger! You hear an alert. Gotta get. I was in. Whoa. He's shooting! He's shooting! How the hell did he get up there? You hear an electron? Is there more than one? He's like using non Newtonian moving. Wait. You hear? Non Cartesian. Just a. Is the blurst. Guess I should have saved more. But like I didn't save because I didn't really know if I had accomplished anything <laughs> worth saving. I guess I could save after this little walk here. Not that I was all happy with my plug and then it didn't do anything. It's got to be a bug or something. I hope I don't need the plug in order to get past this stupid robot. I feel like I, like, it seems like I can walk around and maybe deke him out. Like, where I have to go is straight this way, right? You hear an electron... Is that ahead of me from up there? Nope, nope, nope. You hear an electro. You hear an electron. Can you come down here? Guess we'll find out. Wait. Can I lure him down here and then, like, turn the thingamajigs? That'd be super swank. Come on, little fella. You gonna come? I can hear ya. Could have been cool. I'd go like 90 degrees or 0 90. Alright, if he doesn't kill me as soon as I come out here, I'll do and put another save in. Now you knew that's why I didn't put a save in before that. Keep.
What if I just like go up here, but don't go through? You hear an electronic hum approach. So he always starts over to my left. What if I go? You hear an electronic. So he's over there now. I you know. hear an. I don't know how, but he is. Ooh. Hey, hey. You see that Deke? Yeah, I got him while I was changing screens. You hear an elect. Sucker! Yeah. I don't know why that worked. That guy seemed to be stuck somewhere between screens. But that's what I needed. Get to the supercomputer. And now I have the supercomputer code. Well, I had the supercomputer code before. But now I actually know that I have the supercomputer code. Okay. This is where we put in a save. Super computer. Like, you don't need to look at that. It's very pleasant looking. You don't need the heavy iron door looks impenetrable. You don't need. It's like it's very pleasant look. Why is there no descriptions of this room? It's weird. The heavy. Keep your hand. Okay. Uh, oh. An S. Six nine six five eight four seven six six nine. So it's six nine and six ends in six nine six five eight four seven six. Don't What? Damn it. But I had that. It's probably my bad. Six nine six five eight four seven six. I did that in the wrong order. A little bit of less Dixia. Six five eight four seven six. Six five eight four seven six. Six five eight four seven six. Six five eight four seven six six nine. Yes. Okay. Why did I do that? The chamber's interior is filled with hoses, tubes, and wires, and one computer terminal. Keep your hands to your... Keep your hands... <laughs> Don't mess with it! Don't... Don't... What? Don't... Do I have to use this on it? You can't use that here. Nothing happens. The hell? The chamber's in. The chamber's in. Keep your hand. Keep your hand. 
There is no... It smells like something that what... That's not a very... It would serve no purpose. The chamber's interior. Oh, for the love of... You walk towards it? Using it doesn't work. Looking doesn't work. You walk towards it. Fine. Looks rather like a security droid of some sort. This is your brain. Had this been a real brain, you would have known how to use it probably represents some tertiary function of the supercomputer brain. Certainly nothing important. You've seen this mystic rune <laughs> somewhere else. Yeah, this looks like toilet material. So, security droid into the toilet. It's not a bad idea, actually. Just make the make a trash instead of trash have it as a toilet so i want to get rid of leisure suit larry four right because that was the bad thing that hurt it now it's going to be a happy brain i feel like getting rid of space quest four would be bad but it might be funny I'm going to try. <laughs> um it just it just quit the game. I don't think that was a crash. I I think that was actually what it was supposed to do, which is pretty awesome actually. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'll load that up again. Uh, one sec. <laughs> okay. Let's not trash the game we are currently playing. How about King's Quest? No one likes King's Quest. Wow, that's a lot of free space. Turns out uh, King Quest, whatever that was, is very large. Well, goodbye, brain. Initiating formatting sequence. Uh, okay. You're far too busy. You're far. Keep your hands. Time to. F oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I don't want to be here while when the computer formats. Question is, where do I want to be when the computer formats? I guess I trash the. Uh, brain. Or I trashed the security ro robot, so I don't need to worry about that anyway. What units those are? Not... They, it looks like they're tenths of a second. I'm really curious about what these little terminal things did. 
and why I couldn't do that. It's got to be like a bug or something, right? Like I definitely had the right thing. Maybe I'll go back and look later on. I can't use them now, can I? It would serve no. All right. I'm going places that I couldn't get to before. I'm assuming I have to go like through those tunnels because those are interesting looking. Presumably the security robot would have stopped me from going through there before. Into the orange tunnel! Good. Your old friend, Sludge Volhall. I've taken the liberty hey, sludge of man. borrowing your son's body. But the I had to remove him first to make set. room for my what? mental self. Okay, one, I have this a son. Is on this disc. Say, it's most enjoyable to be in a young, healthy body, even if it's from He's your time isn't going bloodline. Yet. In fact, I like it so much, I think I'll keep it. I guess we'll have no use for this anymore. No. Now it's time to settle things, once and for all. You'd better be careful, though. Keep this in mind. If I die while in this body, that disc will be useless. Your son will never draw another breath. I didn't even know I had a son up until five yourself, seconds ago. You will never live to buff another helmet. Come on, show me what you've got, moth jockey. Why should I believe you that you have my son? Son? I haven't done anything that would indicate that I would have a son. Not even with the... whatever. The latex babes of Estos. Rawr! Is that it? Am I dead? Oh. Am I supposed to be doing something here? This is, the, this is a really weenie fight. You were nearly thrown off the edge of the platform. Be more careful. Oh, I see. Glad you could play. I think I'm missing something in this fight. You were nearly. Like, I don't have. Hey. Why did I win that? You have to like click on him just as he comes. It's the most weird ass fight I've ever seen. 
Rawr! Safety margin, very good. Oh, that's not so bad. I think I just click a bunch to win. Is that the best effort you can muster? It's very weird. All this space hero nonsense must be getting to you. You're getting old, Roger. I, on the other hand, am enjoying the physical joys of youth. Okay, you don't have to tell me all about your physical joys, okay? It's you! No, I wanna... You can't do that! What the hell is this? It's a disk drive unit. Keep your hands to... Don't... Keep your hands... Don't... Just walk away? Okay. Bye. Or not. Guess I won't leave. It's a disk drive unit. I want to use the disk. Oh, I guess I have the disk now. Uh. It is. Wait. <laughs> Downloading program to be. Wait, what did I? Well, that's just great. Now Vohal's on the loop. Okay, I messed that up. This is very confusing. This last bit of the game feels a little half-baked. It's weird, like there's very little description, like the descriptions about things are not very clear. And the controls seem very odd. This is from somebody who's just played through, you know, four Space Quest games. Warning! Safety margins very good! Ha-ha! Gotcha! He goes in. Goes in there again. And then I... I go down the ladder. And then come back up. Didn't say like, you find the disc! Or anything like that. It's just like, you go down the ladder and then come back up. It's like, oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to go there. Oh, wait, no, no, I have the disc. All right. So. Disc upload. Program upload to main computer. Uh, beam download. Beam already contains program. Beam upload. For all upload to main computer. Alright. Now Roger download. Follow me. There are many things we need to talk about. But the changed his hair too. You must be very confused. I am Volhall so confused. Truth, are you really my son? You do look a little Didn't like. Didn't I leave me, him though, in the main computer? Good looking. Couldn't I have put him on the what disc? What do you mean, not as good looking? I probably should have done that. Times... Oh, wait. What am I saying? This is no way to start. Yes, what Vohal said is true. I have many things to tell you, Dad. I should start at the beginning. I was born 19 years ago on Xenon. It's always been my home. The Xenon of today at least up until recently, had made great strides in managing our planet's resources. Yeah, and then that things kind of went water, to poop. Minerals, even the talent of our population. We enjoyed peace for so many years, we took it for granted. 
Damn you, peace! The creation of the first super biomet computer was the biggest success story in our history. When the Vohal virus was introduced and began to control the computer, a state of total chaos was created. We were unprepared for what followed as Vohal turned our technology against us. Mm, I'm kind of disappointed that it wasn't just decimated. Laser Suit Larry that killed everything. Some of us stayed and tried to fight. Some were captured and some fled the planet. When it seemed there was no hope, we thought of one last long shot effort. That was to find the only person in history ever to defeat Vohal. We had to go back in time to find that person, you. We got there just in time. You had to go back in time to get me? Why wasn't I available in this time? What happened to me? I don't understand. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, there are some things I, I wish this I is could be you, awkward. I can't. I know that's not what you want to hear. Believe me, I just can't. Hey, if you're my son, who's your mother? My wife? Where is she? Who is she? You sure ask a lot of questions for a janitor. Hey. You're a kid. Oh, hey. This is my mother and your wife. Her name was Beatrice. Beatrice <laughs> Wankmeister. She was quite beautiful, wasn't she? She was what indeed. Mean, was quite beautiful. What are you saying? She I'm comes so from a long I line of Wankmeisters. That. Please, I can't tell you anymore. I don't believe all this. I'm so confused. It doesn't matter now. I have to send you back where I found you so that history will properly reflect the events which brought us to this place in time. You won't remember much. This will seem like it was a weird, fuzzy dream. Already does. I must get back to the task of contacting all the surviving citizens of our planet. We have a huge task ahead of us. Rebuilding our city and our lives will not be easy, but we will do it. Also those freaky Once guys more, with the you to head the things. It will return you to Magmetheus in the Space Quest IV era. Please go now. It's time. It'd be sweet if I have to actually like play Space Quest 4 now. It's like, oh god damn it. Dad? At least I have this hint book. I'm glad I got to see you, even if only for a few minutes. Xenon owes you a lot. Goodbye, Dad. I thought the idea, the joke with the Space Quest, with the Space Quest 4 hint book was that that was the, that was the hint book for Space Quest 4, but you don't spend most of the game in Space Quest 4. But the code I needed to beat the computer in Space Quest so 12 many was questions. in that book. The future should prove most interesting for Roger, if he can stay out of trouble long enough to reach it. We're glad you could help Roger get through it all. Thank you for playing Space Quest 4. Thank you for making Space Quest 4. Scott Murphy, Doug Oldfield, Dan Carver, Neil Matz, Bob Andrews, Max Deirdroff, Oliver Bresford, Carlos Escobar, and various other people that are... couldn't read fast enough. Good job, all you people! Wonder how many of these people are still working in video games. Orpheus Hanley. What an amazing name. Good job, Josh. Good job with that additional material. QA. The unsung. Hey, Orpheus Hanley was also the sequel police number two. I'm noticing a lot of people from the dev crew in this uh, voice acting cast. It's always good to see. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me on this Paul Quest 4. It's, uh, yeah, this was an interesting one. Like I said, this is the, this is one that I've gone, that I went into pretty much totally blind. I knew that there was the time travel-ish thing, 
but uh but yeah and i i thought it was really neat um but yeah that weird that last section i'd be very curious to know i feel like there might be a story there because that last section in the supercomputer part seemed kind of it, it seemed a little weird like it seemed like it had uh, either they ran out of budget or something like the fact that there was almost no descriptions of anything that last sort of fight was very odd uh it seemed a little perfunctory i have to say but the time travel thing was super cool so anyway thank you all for watching and uh yeah join me next time when we will check out Poe quest five what will be there? I have no idea. So, alright. See you all later. Bye.